kind of get the idea that we're celebrating the Irish, uh, uh, well, it's kind of the Irish celebration, but come on, you know that everybody celebrates St. Patrick's Day, but maybe most particularly John Patrick Michael McMahon, <laughs> family from County Clare, and you Cork people, right? The yes, Kellers? Indeed. Mm -hmm. Kelsey Kelleher, Irish Cultural Center, your official title there? Well, I do a lot of different things there. Right now, I'm the administrative programming assistant there. Will you tell everybody in our audience who's not gone to the Irish Cultural Center why we have that remarkable castle on Central Avenue? What's in it? Oh, there is so much in the Irish Cultural Center. We have a full genealogy research center. We have a beautiful McClelland Library. We do also have an Academy of Irish and Celtic Studies. We've got a giant hall where we have beautiful events, a gorgeous courtyard, and a replica cottage. Can people just drop in even if they've never met an Irishman? Absolutely. You don't have to be Irish to go there. We're open 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. And special activities going on, of course, this week. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. It's going to be the greenest weekend in the desert. We are kicking off the St. Patrick's weekend on Saturday. Uh, we have the St. Patrick's Day Parade and Fair. The parade is on uh, Saturday morning at 10 a.m. It kicks off on 3rd Street in Sheridan. And it heads south, ends up right near Margaret Hans Park in the Irish Cultural Center, which is where the fair is being held from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's the fair with an E on the end. Correct, yes. And at the fair, if people are going to bring the family, uh, what's going on at the Irish Cultural Fair? Oh, bring the whole family out for the St. Patrick's Day Fair. We have three stages of Irish music, dances, and programming. We have food, a kid's area. We're also having a book sale in the library, too. Arizona and Ireland have long had a tie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, let's talk about that because we've had sister cities that's true. and uh, there's, uh, there's even some history that's gone on in Tucson. You're correct. Uh, Hugo O'Connor was an Irishman who founded the Presidio of Tucson and we're having a lecture on him on March 23rd. It's a free lecture at 7 p.m. at the Irish Cultural Center. Uh, by the way, at the fair, I'm going to bet yeah. that they probably have booths with authentic Irish things they do. to sell, and we can take things home, and then St. Patrick's Day we can wear them. Like, for example, this authentic mm. Irish hat. You can tell because you've been to Ireland. I have. From the Aran Islands, those islands directly off the coast of Galway. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can take home a lot of really beautiful um, pieces at the Irish Fair, and then you can wear them on March 17th on actual St. Patrick's Day, and we're having another celebration at the Irish Cultural Center from noon to four. It's going to be our family-friendly fair, and that's going to have a musical instrument petting zoo, live programming, um, story hour, so much fun. And then that evening, we're actually having a Kaylee. So at 5 p.m., we're having a Kaylee dance. Today. And it's called a Kaylee. Mm -hmm. Why? What is it? Well, it's Irish. Uh, dancing so it's Irish group dancing kind of like square dancing uh, and you don't need to be a dancer you don't need to have any experience whatsoever just come on we'll show you how to do it and join us that evening and if you hear anybody ever say it's fine crack it has absolutely nothing to do with substance <laughs> abuse no we're talking about that means just a good crazy wild Irish time a good time yep. like at the Irish Cultural Center Plenty of located, that this weekend. Located where? 1106 North Central Avenue, right in downtown Phoenix. And you're always welcome. Let me tell you that.